One of the things that I'm sure you all know to your, in your bones and that we have certainly talked about a lot on our show is just how shitty it feels to be alive right now. We all have stuff. We're, all, we're not you know, in the worst uh, uh, physical circumstances, but everything just feels hollow and cynical and empty. And I really do think that one of the big reasons for that is because we all know deep down inside that there is something wrong with this country, with this world, with this fucking social order. We know deep down that no humane society would be ordered this way. That, that this stuff is just not... If, if, if good people of good faith, like the people you know in your lives, got together to create a society, they wouldn't make this one. But that, that knowledge sits right next to the messages we get every fucking day from our parents, from our fucking bosses, from the media, that this devil's bargain that we've struck, where you get, you get creature comforts and you get convenience in exchange for precarity and alienation and fucking despair and the steady erosion of the fucking living environment that we need to survive is some sort of choice that we all made. And that we all opted for this option. We all opted for the 30 uh, brands of toothpaste that uh, Bernie talked about when he was debating uh, Hillary in 2016. But we know in our hearts that that's not fucking true. We know that we never asked for this. We never wanted this. But the problem is, is that we're all fucking powerless against it. As an individual, what are you supposed to do? against these massive, world-spanning powers that determine the world that you live in. Post. And, and so you're left in this position of being hyper-aware of the awfulness and the rot of the world around you, coupled with a complete and hyper-specific knowledge of your own inability to do anything about it. And what that does over time is that it starts to eat away at you. And it honestly, I mean, I'm speaking for myself anyway, it makes you start to hate yourself a little bit. You, you hate yourself for how fucking powerless you are. And more importantly, and even worse and more insidiously than that, you start to feel complicit in your own misery. You start to feel complicity, you start to feel complicit in the misery of others. You start to blame yourself because why aren't you doing anything? But what's to be done? And this campaign, the Bernie Sanders campaign, I swear to God, guys, this is the first moment this is the first movement that any of us have seen in our living lives that has the promise of bringing a mass, a, a critical mass of people to the realization that they aren't alone. <laughs> that there's such a thing as a common, that there is a common dream of a more humane world that we can fucking make. It's because, yes, none of us, by ourselves, can do anything. That's, that's what they tell you every day to keep you where you are. But what the Bernie campaign can tell you, what the Bernie campaign is telling you, and what we're all telling ourselves, what we're all telling each other, what all you fucking canvassers are saying, what people are saying at dinner tables, what people are talking about, what people are saying more and more, they're saying it more and more, folks. <laughs> so many people are saying it. Is that, so many people. Is that all of us together can do anything. 